right, so we get asked this question a lot, and the question is, should I drive to Georgia to get my trailer? And a lot of you probably seen extremely low prices of trailers on the internet. <laughs> and you're thinking, if I drive to the manufacturer and get it direct, it's gonna be a really good value for me. Yes! And the answer is it really depends. For some customers that have bought a trailer from a manufacturer before, and they know the certain manufacturer in Georgia they're going to, and they know the quality and the build, it could be a good opportunity. But when you buy a trailer, it's not like buying a car. Like I can go down to my local dealership and buy a Ford F-150, or I can drive to Georgia and buy a Ford F-150, and I know it's gonna be the same car, but it's just gonna be a difference in price. Most trailers are manufactured by a multitude of different companies, and they're also done with a multitude of different build levels. So the model number of an F-150, they have a limited, platinum, uh, Raptor, they have all these different models, and they're all able to be compared. These trailer manufacturers, they have different models, they have different manufacturers. So what may look like a really good deal, and you think you're getting a Ford Platinum, might actually be a, a Ford XL when you get there. And the manufacturers know that they use low prices, bait and switch to get you to drive all the way to Georgia. And then once you're there, if you leave without a trailer, you've lost a few days of your life. So, but if you are going to Georgia to look for a trailer, one of the first things I would do before I got there is make sure you understand the build sheet of the trailer, You've done your research and your homework on the manufacturer, you've read their Google reviews, and you understand that they're a really good company. The next thing I would do is get an out-the-door total invoice, and I would also recommend putting a deposit down on that trailer on a refundable credit card. So if you go there and the trailer's not what it says, you can cancel the transaction on your credit card and get your money back. Um, but I would never go to Georgia to drive to get a trailer that I didn't have a deposit or an out-the-door total, because when you get there, you may realize it's not there. The other thing that they do a lot is they'll have the trailer you want, they'll have it for the price they told you, but when you get there, they'll try to move you into another trailer, which I would consider a more usable trailer for you and probably a better value for you at that time, but not something you need to drive all the way to Georgia for because they'll sell you a model that's not necessarily a good fit. And by the time you do all this, you'll have a good idea of what the savings would be for you to drive to Georgia. You know, if you're thinking it's just gas, well, it's gas, your time. And if you make a mistake when you drive all the way out there and come back without a trailer, it can be a huge problem.